Hey, just a short message before the video starts. This video is part of an experiment that I am running on this new channel, where I see what happens when I upload the same content and the same style of content to a brand new channel to see if the algorithm actually decides to pick me up or not. This experiment does not work if you do not interact with this video, so please, if you would, like the video, subscribe with bell notifications if you have not, and once you're done watching the video, make sure to leave a comment. I don't necessarily care what you comment, but if it's about the video, YouTube will probably like that more. Additionally, make sure to share these videos around to various circles that you think might be interested in them, especially furry communities because, you know, they are very supportive and I am that. These first few videos will be re-uploads of the few videos I posted on the main channel, but as this experiment goes on, I will be uploading original content to this channel that will likely not be on the main channel. If you've already watched this video, I would suggest just like putting it on the background on low volume just to have it run through because watch time is another important analytic for video stuff, but I will appreciate if you just decide to like the video and leave a comment. You could just do that extra little thing of just watching through the video again, and uh, watching in quotes because you could just like totally put it on the background. I do background listening content anyway. With the blurb out of the way, I will let you go on to the video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video around. This experiment is nothing without you. Dixie, I hope you're having a great day and I hope it only gets better. Welcome back to Hollow Knight. Before I get into recapping the last episode and everything, there's a, a, a funky little thing. Over the next month-ish, things are going to be real weird in here because uh, I won't give too many details right now. I will go further into detail in March, but I am currently running a, uh, a little experiment, so to speak, involving YouTube and uh, my reach as far as the channel goes. So this will likely be the last video for a little while that goes up on this channel channel but I don't know maybe potentially there might be another channel that's very similarly named to this one that I might be uploading at instead I'm not sure but uh, potentially if I were to say youtube.com slash at Vixie Coyote uh, I suppose anyone who's curious enough could do a little bit of a little bit of investigation and as to uh, what specifically I'm talking about there with that being said I will go into more detail uh, in a few days we are in Hollow Knight once again in the last episode I finally got my air dash soon after no hitting the first fight with Hornet which I fought Hornet, by the way. Uh, I'm still powered about that. And uh, according to uh, the comments that I got after that video was uploaded, apparently I fought the Brooding Marlek like way earlier come, like than I was supposed to. I was supposed to at least have the dash before I fought the Brooding Molek, so it's uh, pretty lit that I was able to kill him, even with the trouble that I did. Anyway, we are back in Hollow Knight, and I'm just going to start playing now, and I want to go try and find... Is the map bigger? I don't remember. I feel like the map was smaller. Um, anyway, I need to get to the new places that I can get to with my new air dash. And also, I need to reacclimate to the controls. You know how it is. Alright, hold on. Alright. <laughs> wow, I think that's the, uh, that's the spiciest start I have had. This time, not only do I have to reacclimate because I have to play uh, Hollow Knight in a little bit. I have actually played a game with a controller recently, being Red Dead 2. And uh, those games, if you couldn't tell, oh, the ceiling's too low, are way different genres. So I'm also gonna have to rewire my brain to not play this like Red Dead because I can't play it like Red Dead. Since I have the air dash, I now have a few new areas that I can go to. The problem is, I don't specifically remember where those areas were. I know that there was one place near the end of the last episode that I went to, and I got a new badge that... Why can't I hit this thing? I got a new badge that damages enemies when I take damage, which I will not be using. So, holy, that was irrelevant, but hey, we got a new place under our belt, so I'll take it. Um... Right! I don't have the compass badge. I just came from there, I went right, and so this next one should be... 
I'm in that long one there, top, almost direct center, that long one that leads to the downy, and then to another another bench. So if I, if I have my bearings correct, that should be where I originally saw Hornet, and if I go right, it should reach the the first bench from here. Yeah, there we go. Told you guys good maps. Okay, so with that being said, we could go to Stone Sanctuary and just try to knock about in there, but I don't think that's such a good idea. I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to head up to the area where Sly was, not Sly, uh, Zot, Zote, Zote, I'm just gonna say Zote, where Zote was, and I'm gonna go right to see what is specifically there. I can't remember if that was a place I needed to go for Air Dash, but it could be, so I'm, I'm, I'm taking the chance. So while I make while I make my way back, um, I will mention that in regards to the experiment I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm positive some of you already know what the experiment is about, but I'll give a little bit of detail, just just a little bit though, not too much, because I wanna I wanna make sure everything is like. It's had, it's had a little bit to brew, so to speak, before I uh, make it as public as I possibly can. So far, all I've really done is uh, make a Twitter post about it and ping some peeps in the Discord because I was talking about doing this experiment in the Discord anyway. So, if you're in the Discord, then you already know about this. But I have been curious about what the situation with my reach in YouTube has been. Because a quick look downward can show that I have a fair amount of subscribers and my view count is ass. So it has basically been my suspicion for a little while now that something might have happened. Right, I forgot about that. Uh, particularly with when I uploaded the types of players in Warframe, where I suddenly got flooded with all this attention, and then YouTube thought, potentially, I was using a sub bot or a view bot or something, and then blacklisted me and shadow banned me. In an attempt to... In an attempt to see if that is actually the case... Oh, I parried him. Whoops. Cool. In an attempt to test to see if this is actually the case, which, after looking at my analytics with this thought in mind, I'm pretty sure it, it might be. I have made another secret project, we'll say that, I'm not sure how YouTube will uh, react with me talking about it directly, but um, let's just say I came across this uh, mysterious YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash at Vixie Coyote, that uh, may or may not be uploading the same content that I do, no change, same style of content it's always been, to that channel to see if uh, this mysterious new channel can uh, get a little bit of actual traffic and progress, so to speak. So if you want to uh, get in on this a bit earlier than other people, uh, before I make an actual full announcement about it, if you want to, you can probably just type in, I don't know, youtube.com slash at Vixie Coyote to uh, see what the issue is. I won't stop you, that's entirely up to you. But for the time being, I'm gonna keep it uh, relatively on the hush-hush as far as uh, saying stuff on this channel goes, just to be safe. But with that being said, we will leave that right there for the time being. Because we have uh, reached the area I wanted to explore a bit. Can I get up there? I can. I remember coming here and then something made- right! Yeah, 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 that- I smacked my head. There's a chest, Magoo. And a swarmy wormy. Oh, oh, okay. Oh wow, this is this is trash. Wow. Wow, I hated that. All right, uh, time to go back. What an awesome first thing to do with uh, me coming back here and not being acclimated to, uh, to the controls. And sometimes the, the X button just doesn't work. Hell yeah. Oh, and I just remembered, um, I had a fair bit of Geo when I ended off the last episode. Not on me, obviously, because I had been storing it in the bank relative, like pretty periodically. 
So I'm kind of curious how close I am to being able to get the Lumify Lantern. Because if I'm close enough, I might be able to just... I might be able to go do uh, the Stone Sanctuary in this video. That would be cool. That would be... Uh, that's our first, like, inkling of actual, like, what the content of this video is going to be. It's going to have that early. And I actually am, because I can fight these guys pretty reliably now. Oh, I parried him again. I would really prefer to not parry him so my timing doesn't get thrown off video game. My analog just doesn't work. Great. Awesome. Cool. Great, 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 great. Awesome. Cool. Oh my fuck! All right, this is off. This is off to a great start. I don't know what my problem is. I feel. I feel like the controls are. They're. I feel like they're acting weird. Maybe I'm just not committing to, like, the directional stuff as, like, in the same way I normally do. But I feel like I'm playing basically the same I have done. I'm not sure what the issue is. I feel off. This definitely isn't the case, and I'm just making excuses, but, uh, I guess, uh, I have the free time to muse as I walk back. I'm uploading a, uh, specific video, uh, right now, uh, to what channel, I couldn't tell you. Um, and, oh my fuck. And I don't really ever record when I am uploading. So I'm wondering if that's like providing a little bit of a hitch, so to speak. I don't know. But the game definitely does feel off, and I'm not sure what it is. All right, well, seeing as how uh, I'm dead and lost all of my shit. No point in not fighting this guy anyway. What? Like, I was pulling down. I, I need to get like a visualizer. Or that is so fucking annoying. All my piss. Dude. Like, I am pulling down on the analog stick video game. What the fuck? Yeah, sometimes it's just not- is my left analog stick fucked for some reason? This is base, still basically a new fucking controller. I am declaring horrendous horseshit. Alright, attempt number three. Great. There we go. I, I'm pretty sure the only problem is I wasn't pulling down enough, but I really feel like, like I was doing the exact same thing I was in previous videos. I don't know what the issue is. Either way, we have it to uh, dealt with now. So now we have to walk all the way back and do that stupid roly bully business. But uh, now that I have uh, figured out what my issue is uh, mechanically, that won't be too much of a of an issue. And I'm gonna go in there with full count it. Full <laughs> soul. Great. I, mean, I guess I'm not going in there. All right. Looks like we're going in there with almost full soul. Hey, you. This is horse shit. This is cock. This is bullshit. This is fucking trash. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing in this video. I am not stopping because all I need to do is kill one of the big guys and then it's easy. Um, I did notice though, just I'm gonna take a sec from being uh, tilted to actually muse about something constructively. Was it just me or was one of the guys shooting the little roly poly dude as he was shooting his projectile? And if so, did they not do that before? Because I'm pretty sure they didn't do that before. It was one or the other. It could be me getting uh, distracted and not paying as much attention because I am trying to divide my attention into uh, attacking one thing and dodging the other. God, you are such a pain in the ass. Get out of the way. Also, here's another, uh, another constructive musing. 
does Vengeful Spirit take effect from the Red Tear Stone Ring? Because I'm not sure if it does or not. Right, I can't get full soul because uh, my uh, soul vessel is cracked. It would be helpful if the uh, if Vengeful Spirit does take effect on the Red Tear Stone Ring, but it already does like okay damage, so it doesn't really need it. Oh, here's an idea. I'm standing in the direct center of the two big guys, but they close up when I get close. So what if I stand in front of one of them, so I take him completely out of the equation, and, at and I work on killing the other one before switching back to the, uh, the guy I was gatekeeping? That might be an idea, and that's probably what the game wants me to do, so I will do it. All right, let's give this new strat a go. I'm just gonna go immediately right. Yeah, and he doesn't open up if I turn backwards. Damn it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it was just overcomplicating things. And one more should do it. Oh, I fucked up the timing on that. What? Why am- what is wrong with my fucking brain? Oh, oh, you- you- you reach that far now, do you? Yeah, hurry up, dude. I don't think Vengeful Spirit takes effect from the Red Tear Sun Ring. Definitely not. There we go. See, I just overcomplicated things. And, uh, I'm pretty sure these guys are permadeaths. In this case, they're not. I'm gonna open that bitch up. Can I... Hmm. If I die over here, then the likelihood of me uh, getting my stuff back is a lot easier. So instead of uh, trying to smack the big guy on the way up, we'll smack him on the way back just to make sure that I can get my stuff back. If those big guys respawn, I will cry on camera. <laughs> hey there, big guy. I'll get you on the way back. See ya. Assuming I am coming back, which I might not now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure that uh, that little area is just a hidden place for a swarmy wormy though. Hey, soul boy, can you like get over here? I'll just pogo on him. Plug it. All right. Pogoid removed. <sighs> Worthless. Pointless. There we go. Alright, at least this guy's dead, so if the other guy decided to respawn, then that's no problem. Cool. This in way. Oh. Collectible men? Balder shell. Interesting. What does that do? Protect its bearer with a hard shell while focusing soul. The shell is not indestructible and will shatter if it absorbs too much damage. Oh, okay. So it gives me some iframes while I heal. No training wheels for me, please. Okay, so this didn't lead to the Swarmy Wormy, but the Swarmy Wormy is definitely here. I heard the tank, but whatever. But the Swarmy Wormy is definitely here. Oh, I can. Hm, cool. It's definitely here because... I know a Swarmy Wormy when I hear one, and I definitely heard one. So, I'm wondering, what if? No? Hmm. Okay, well, it must have to do with that, uh, that, uh, drop down that I could potentially triangle jump. Oh my fuck. But, as it currently stands, I do not know if this game has a triangle jump. But, it's a Metroidvania, so I would imagine it does. If it does, dope. So it looks like I've been there now. That is done. So now, 
I just need to uh, zip around and look for these extra places that uh, I can ideally explore with the... Oh, yeah, and I gotta kill you. With the uh, air dash. Oh, my God. The parry just... It, it throws me off. That's not where I was looking. The game, like, hitches when you parry something to add, like, impact and stuff, and that just throws off my timing so badly. Yet another reason to, uh, kind of ignore the parry system, I guess. Okay, so before I, uh, actually head on my expedition to find these other... Right, can't go back that way yet. Uh, I am, in which case, I am gonna go loop around and I'm gonna open that, uh, that shortcut. But I wanted to go back to the stagways, so I can head back to the bank so I can see how much money I have. The Lumafly Lantern was 1,800 Geo. I have 400 on me, and I've deposited, I think, 400, maybe 500? So that would be like 900 at the least more Geo, which I guess I could do. It's not all that much more Geo, especially seeing how enemies respawn and those namely those big guys respawn. That would be not difficult to get. It would just take a little bit of time. So I'll, I'd probably end up uh, just shutting up and not bothering with commentary and you don't even see the farming, if I end up doing that. And it could also be that I have even more uh, Geo in stock than I thought I did. So that means, or, or rather, it, it could be that I have even more Geo than I thought I did in stock. So I might actually just have enough. And I could also just be totally misremembering how much a Luma Flight Lantern was, which would also be helpful. Assuming I misremembered in the correct direction to make it convenient and not, it's actually way more expensive than I thought. <laughs> that would be awful. I do like how the uh, the uh, the magnet seems to just suck up any geo that's on screen to me. That's super helpful. Okay, we're gonna pop a quick save. We're not gonna head back to the the bank just yet because I want to head back up here and open up the shortcut. Also, there are big guys here, and big guys drop a lot of geo, and I currently need geo, so we're doing that. Ah, here we go. It's a good thing I checked. I need to go up and around and then open that. Uh, should I actually bother just like running up here and uh... That actually scared the crap out of me. And... Yeah, I think I am gonna kill the big guys. Alright, shortcut opened. Let's kill some big guys. You here? Oh no, he was specifically guarding the swarmy army, so there's not as many big guys here as, as I would hope. Harry. Wow, that straight up didn't hit me. There we go. Okay, so the big guys give like 40 apiece. That's helpful. Your hitbox is not great. That's all right. In fact, it looks like they get exactly 40. Good to know. All right, anyway, let's head back to Stagways now. Uh, let's make sh let's see if Big Guy has anything else to say. Uh, nope. All right, cool. Away we go. To the Queen Station. So, while I head back to uh, the, uh, the bank, I guess this would be a good time for me to do the Patreon plug. Wow. If you would like to support me in the channel, first off, big thank you to my current patrons, Zonrer, Winterbreeze, and Stopper, which uh, is weird because I usually just say all of my patrons, but whatever. Well, I said it, I said it. Um, huge thank you to them. And if you would like to join their ranks and support me and the channel, you can do so on Patreon for just $5 a month and you'll get a bunch of cool perks. Whether it be work in progress art for thumbnails or just something I happen to be working on, full resolution art for thumbnails and such, and most importantly, early access to videos. Additionally, if I uh, end up getting enough uh, patrons to uh, support this sort of thing, I will eventually start taking suggestions from my patrons for games to play for the channel. Assuming, you know, like, I make enough from Praetorion to just fund whatever game you want me to play. If any of that strikes your fancy, make sure to head down to link in the description and s consider supporting me on Patreon. I remember to do it relatively near into the video this time. I'm feeling good. Hey Millie Bell, I remembered your name. I would love to do some banking. I have 600. 
Okay, so 600 plus 500 is 1100. I need 700 more Geo. Uh, I'm too uh, inept at math to do this myself, so uh, let's let's uh, enlist the help of a friend, why don't we? Hey Siri, what is 700 divided by 40? Ah, gotcha. Uh, I don't think uh, Siri was picked up by my microphone. She might not have been. I'm not sure. Uh, but I would need to kill 18 of the big guys to be able to uh, to be able to uh, fund the Luma Fly Lantern, which doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna mark this down at uh, 33 minutes of recording. I am going to cut here, and I will be right back once I have enough money for the Luma Fly Lantern, and then we'll get to go check out the Stone Sanctuary. All right, we are back. Just uh, well, it was like 14 minutes later. It didn't take too long. Thankfully, uh, I had that place unlocked that had the uh, the two big guys that uh, we bumped into just before I uh, went and did that farming. They were very, very helpful for that. Quite literally means I got that farming work done twice as fast. And now that I have done that farming and I have an additional 700 Geo on top of everything I have in the bank, that means I can finally get the Luma Fly Lantern and therefore making traversing dark areas way easier. I would like to withdraw my entire balance, please. This, is, this isn't a suspicious transaction at all. Do I get interest at all? Nope. All right, thanks, Billy Bell. See you later. It's a good thing it's just like literally two loading screens. No, uh, uh, three transitions from uh, from the bank to get back to Dirtmouth. Four, three, four, whatever. And not counting the, the Stagways thing. It's, it's only a few transitions to get back to Dirtmouth. All right. I also do want to talk to the Elder Bug because uh, I haven't done that in a while. He probably has some uh, some new stuff to say. Hi, Mr. Elder Bug. Hold on. And we're good. Okay, you have anything else to say? Oh, what a turn. Our shop keeps come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hoped for a grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him. I don't quite remember your voice because I talked to you literally once, so uh, this is what you get. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. That he does. No competition. That's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. Yes, uh, a lack of competition is absolutely terrible. Uh, I have had literally only Dairy Queen as my uh, my only fast food option in this town for multiple years at this point. Thankfully, our a and is opening up next month, and I am very happy about that. I never thought I'd see such a thing. The stag station has opened. That building lay silent since before even my time. Damn, and you old as hell. Oh, but I've heard tales of the glorious lines. A web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. That's perfectly understandable. Dirtmouth is a great little town. Did you visit that... <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while since I've talked to someone. Did you visit that temple? A strange building, I've heard. Though I'd never dare the journey myself. The braver among us went there. What? <laughs> Sorry. The braver among us once went there to pray, said they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. Spookiness, probably. A young couple's just recently taken up residence in the house beside the station. Seems they're running a map shop, which may excite adventurous types like yourself. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to take a larger house, especially given that they're all empty. But they like the look of that one. The way she has to bend just to get through the door. I wouldn't put up with it myself. Oh, poor Mrs. Zelda. My understanding of Hollow Nest can be a little vague, but below those leafy caverns is a fungal grove, once home to peaceful creatures not quite bug and not quite plant. Sounds almost worth a visit, though. Well, there's a downside. The dreadful stench. A noxious odor fills the place. Now, where could that be? I thought he was talking about, I guess, Fog Canyon? But it didn't really seem... It, usually, smelling bad is green. But I guess occasionally it is purple. It's more pink down there, though. Maybe I'm just biased because that's my favorite color. Thank you for your wisdom, Mr. Elderbug. I'm also going to talk to Zote while I'm back. Hey, dude. 
What a squalid little hamlet this is. The air is foul and the townsfolk have beady eyes. I'll be heading back down below as soon as possible. Ah, your voice is still ever-changing, I see. Uh, and that's it. Alright, cool. Uh, what about Mrs. Zelda? Hi! Oh, home, Sanjo. Uh, okay, no, okay, bye! Alright, let's, uh, let's stop putzing around and actually get that Luma Fly Lantern. We have a stone sanctuary to investigate. Hey, Sly, do you have anything to say? Did I read this book? I don't remember. The pocket's feeling empty? If you need more Geo, take a trip into the ruins below us and hunt around. Just take care not to fall into a haze. I won't be coming to rescue you. I remember that line. I did say that before. Alright, anyway, I want the Luma Fly Lantern. Luma Fly Lantern! Yer. Christ! An arm and a leg, if you would. Alright, I would presume that's something I have to equip. Um... Uh, no. Alright, ballin'. Well, uh, without further ado, let's head down to Stone Sanctuary and see what, uh, what, the, what the situation is. I went to the wrong one. We're gonna have to go through this again. Hey, Mr. Sagman, I hope you need cardio. Alright, so we're there. We gotta go down and just screen all the way right, and then... I won't trouble you with uh, the arduous task of watching me walk all the way back, so I'll see you guys in a little bit when I get to the, the uh, at least to the dark area. Alright, I've henceforth hit the bench here, and yeah, look at that, we can see now! Hot dog! Alright. Great. <laughs> Did he just... Alright, well, makes my job easier. Bonk, blank. This is easy. Alright. Oh, wait, hold on, that was free Geo I saw. Suddenly I uh, am in desperate need of money, so uh, gimme gimme. Thank you very much. Bye! Stone Sanctuary. In all of its ominous glory. Now visible. Oh, there's dead people. Good. Wow, it really do be spooky down here. It out here being spooky. A lot less so now that I'm actually able to uh, traverse the area with my eyes and not just my intuition. What the hell are you? Hi. A face carved from stone. You're gonna be a boss. Bye! Uh, d is right the way I need to go? I could go uppy. Hmm. Interesting. Well, uh, it's blocked off, so I can't quote-unquote triangle jump or wall climb there like I could to get the Molek. So I guess we're going up here. i to be nice and careful going about this, though, because uh, this is treacherous, uncharted territory. got to be real careful about dropping down and such. Hey, oop. Okay, that's just death. <laughs> be real careful. That's what I said. Yoop. Then uppy. Okay, I was expecting that to be a bit more of a puzzle, but... A mask fragment! Wow! Cool. Extra heart. Right? That's what these do? You're goddamn right. I got a Chivo. Protected. Acquired four mask shards. Dope. Okay, uh... Is that all Stone Sanctuary was? It's just a mask shard? I essentially paid 1800 money. To, to walk through this area and get a mass shard. Paid 1800 Geo for a mask shard. Cool. Alright. Awesome. Well, uh, I, I wonder... No, no, no. Hold on. I want to try, because I did pick up some, like, some notable items and such. So, damn it. I, oh, well. If I interact with this again, anything happen? Nope. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, that was, uh, that was a fun venture. Okay, um, Lake of Un. I still can't go left because I don't have a way. I, I guess let's try that lefty area before Fog Canyon. Because it looks like I've tried everywhere else. I'd imagine potentially I would get the ability to uh, get through those uh, those shadow gates 
Oh, you can break those. I doubt it, but maybe. I wonder if I uh, break these statues, uh, if the face down there comes to life or some uh, something. But anyway, what was I saying? I was saying... I'd imagine that the way to get through the Shadow Gates is probably in Fog Canyon. Uh, did I need to left it there? I think I did. Um, but... I, I want to explore around here a little bit more before I fuck can. Yeah, here we go. This is this is new. This was a place I needed to get to with the air dash. And has a goo. Whoa. Omega Bush Boy. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, I can't. I can't smack him. Gotcha. All right. I'm gonna heal up. Well, I have the chance. Just to top myself off. We'll pogo on him when he dashes out. We're gonna do this nice and easy. Nice and easy. I wonder if there's a place I can stand to... Hit him when he jumps over me like that. Oh, another dashy. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, keep doing the dashy. That's not what I asked, bitch. Three hits, let's go. I'm mostly just gonna play it safe and not try to hit him if I don't have to when he jumps. Oh, you cock. Whatever. We'll do some smackage. Yeah, yeah. How's that cheese? I just tanked it. Motherfucker. And those guys just dropped seven, so I'm not going to bother. All right, mini boss dead. Cool. Omega Bush Boy has been obliterated. Cool. Uh, what was he guarding is the question. Progression, I, pr I presume. Uh, there's another door leading that. That's Geo, I see. Gimme, gimme. All right. It is moderately annoying that uh, I went and farmed big boys for 14 minutes, and I could have just come down here and uh, killed this boss for a nice little boon of Geo, but eh. I have the Luma Fly Lantern now. It's literally just a soul vessel. Soul totem. Well, well, I'll try and call them soul totems until I have a concrete name for them. We have the Luma Fly Lantern now, and we had an extra heart to be able to, uh, to tank uh, the Omega Bush Boy, so I will take it. Uh, this is, I'd imagine, still uncharted territory because it doesn't connect up anywhere. But be nice and careful. Yeah, this is definitely uncharted territory. There's never been a combination of Budlards and and the the cannon sphincters. They're coming out of the wall sphincters. Geo, money, money, money. Lefty. Now, what is this place? What secrets do you hold? I need a bench of sorts, so I can chart my, uh, my progress. What is these spicy noises I'm hearing? Is that the acid just cranked up to 11 and rip the knob off? God, piss. Did it put me all the way back, or where am I? I don't know why I checked my map, it doesn't tell me. I think this is the second walkie boy. Yeah. Thank you. Swirmy wormy! There he is. I also could have talked to Grandpa Grub and, and gotten some swirmy wormy money, but here we are. There, I was sitting a lot on a lot of money that I didn't know was here, honestly. Ah! Two walkie boys. Okay, that was cool. I suddenly stopped going down. That's much better. I should have dashed there instead. That would have been uh, a lot easier. There we go. Now, 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 Mr. Stormy Wormy, I think you need to go home. Get out of here. See you later. Tell Grandpa Grandma I said hi. Hello. Can I make that? 
No, I can't. Yeah, I can't make that. Okay, well, I guess this is where our adventure thus ways ends. Because I cannot make that jump. Hmm. Disappointing. Piss. Okay, I recovered. We're good. Thinking on the fly, improvise, adapt, overcome, etc. We're good. Uh, that's just the chest, Magoo. I wonder, can I just drop down and dash? Yeah, I can. All right. Okay, that was a fun detour. Um, so I guess whenever we get like a double jump or something, we'll uh, we'll head back here and see what this place is all about. Actually, was there a right I could go? No, there's not. We'll head back up, regardless. There might be another place I could go. I wish I had... I, I need to chart my map so I can see if there's any other paths there. So I think I'm going to do that before I commit to going to Fog Sanctuary. We're going to head back up right here. We're going to hit the bench. We're going to chart my stuff. That's Stone Sanctuary. We have literally no reason to go back there. I'm going to go up here. And then... Bench. Map updated. What do we got? Ah, I see. Okay, so in the very bottom there, that probably connects around to the big zone that's just thorns on thorns on thorns up there. So I'm guessing the game probably does want me to go to Fog Canyon next, and that would be corroborated by uh, the Elder Bug mentioning Fog Canyon almost by name. So uh, we should probably do that, I'd imagine. That would probably uh, get me my ability to double jump and or get through the uh, the shadow walls, if not both. It might be the same mechanic. I don't know. That's Stone Sanctuary again. God, I'm good at that. Wow, my... Okay, that one, my... I didn't... I wasn't going to pogo on him. I was going to jump and then dash. But I didn't even jump, so there we go. Uh, I'm absolutely going to be making a pit stop on my way down, because uh, I have uh, quite a bit of Manui, and I would like to not lose it. But should just be down here? It might be to the right again. Don't quite remember. There we go. Queen Station! And uh, the bank is not part of it. I could have just gone left, but now I'm full health and can go to the bank. <laughs> so we'll take it. It accomplishes the thing I was going to do regardless. I really want that mask fragment. It is it is teasing me with the fact that I don't have the ability to get it right now, and it makes me angry. But that's not what we're worried about right now. What we're worried about right now is exploring Fog Canyon a bit more and figuring out what the bungus I'm supposed to do when it comes to actually getting through this place. Please take my money. I no longer need it. For now. So let's think now. Where could I go that I haven't gone before in Fog Canyon with the added ability to air dash? See, if this were any other game, actually, if this were this game, and uh, before I figured out that this was not the case, I would think that now that I have the air dash, I would be able to dash through the shadow barriers, but they repulse me just the same. I'm not quite sure. Uh, is this lefty lead nowhere? This is lefty lead nowhere. The most annoying part is that I don't have a map for Fog Canyon and I can't get it because of the shadow barrier in the way. Part of me wants to look it up to see if I'm missing something. I just had an idea. I'm gonna try something. Okay, that didn't work the way I thought it was. Apparently, they have to. I have to smack them for their brains to go volatile. Uh, I was gonna have his brain shoot over to the right and like blow up that wall or something, but I guess there's no indicator that that ball will be explodable. So I was just uh, thinking a bit too much. Okay, um, so I now need to find some place, some way to progress in Fog Canyon, which it might be in here, but I'm pretty sure this just leads to the. This leads someplace that has the shadow barrier. I might be wrong, though. Yeah, here's one of the, the the soul sacks. The cocoons. This is probably here for a reason. That reason is yet to be determined. We're gonna find out. This should lead to this far left area that has the shadow barrier, correct? It leads down here. There's the... Oh, no, no, no. I can get up here, which is irrelevant. But I can. Deal with the flying bush boys just to top myself off. Yeah, here's the shadow barrier. 
And that's right. Okay. Well. Yeah, and I definitely can't go through. I should stop doing that in case I clip through and I can't get back and I soft block myself. Okay, so I officially have no idea where I'm supposed to go. So, seeing as how I am running close to almost out of time, I am going to look up a walkthrough because I have no idea where I'm supposed to go next. I'm going to do what I normally do with walkthroughs, and that is literally just just read what I need to and stop once I know where to go. But I do need to know where to go, so I'll be back in a little bit. Sandy Knee Lady Boy's got me acting unwise. Oh, right. This is a Metroidvania. It loves backtracking. Metroidvanias need backtracking like mainlined into their system to be able to function properly. Remember that silly giggling? In, uh, I think, the first episode in the Forgotten Crossroads? I'm gonna head back there. According to this walkthrough, it is one of the most helpful vendors in the game, so I'm not sure if this will make it a bit more obvious of where I'm supposed to go. You know, I might just... I'm, I'm gonna heal anyway. I'm just gonna damage boost my way down. But the important thing is, it's another new thing for this video before I close it off. So even if it doesn't lead to uh, the next area, uh... It is a new thing. Hey, Stagman, Forgotten Crossroads, please. Okay, so... Oh yeah, and there was that weird trolley thing. I kind of want to go check that out first before I go check out the vendor, but I'm not going to because I am here for the vendor. I'm doing that first because if I don't, I'm going to forget where I want to go. That's, I still need to go up. There is this extra place to the, to the right that I'm not sure about. Okay, so yes. This is another place I wanted to go. That I have a Lumafly Lantern and can see. It's whole machine. Yeah. Not enough to. Oh, piss. What are you. Okay, we're coming back here. Once I get money, we're coming back here. So there's another place I could do. So let's go talk to the vendor, first and foremost. And then we're gonna head back to the bank, which I will cut out so you don't have to watch me walk all the way back. Oh, yeah. And uh, the little bug friend who was mining. Are they still in here? Yep, sounds like it. Hey, do you have anything new to say? Mila. Oh, he hello again. Are you still running about? Why not join me down here? There's plenty of wealth in these rocks for anyone willing to put a bit of work in. Those crystals out there are worth a fair bit, but I have a feeling that there's something even more valuable hidden just a deep bit deeper in. I can almost smell it. Ha, 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 ha. You have a very strange laugh. Have you met the snail shaman? You're welcome to join me. There's enough for both of us. Or if you don't feel like digging, you can just sit and sing along with me. Ha! 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 Cool. Uh, I'll leave you to it for now. Um, was this a place I could go before? Is this a place I went before? Did the- I think this might have led to... Oh. Definitely not, I don't think. Come on. You're gonna fall? Okay, I guess not. I'll probably have to get like a ground pound or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I can smack the gems. Cool. Feel free to pick these up if you want to. I won't be using them. Bye. All right. Uh, another little, another little detour of an extra place that is just a bit strange and I'm not sure about. But hey, we'll take it. So now for the thing that we came here for. Again. We are heading top right. We're heading over to where we found Sly because oh yeah, big guy. If I ask. Pew. Right. I probably did that. Uh, having a dash makes those guys easier. Alright, was this guy just... Yeah, he was just guarding a swarmy army. I don't actually remember where to go to get Sly. Or where I got Sly, rather. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. No, no, no. My, my brain's ticking. Uh... 
Okay, yeah, so here's that place. So where did I... Was it the Ancestral Mound? Ah, right, yeah, no, no, it was down and to the right, because he was in, like, a village. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, so, uh... Don't even bother with the transition, because we gotta cut out some more some more walking time here. So just immediately smash cut directly to when I get to that place. Hi you? Naka Naka! Oh, you are large. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you surprised me. Hello, hello! Come in, sweetling. Come in and make yourself at home. I'm Salubra, and this is my cozy little charm star. Did the town folk out there tell you to come and visit me? Mm, yes, this is a lovely little village, isn't it? Warm and intimate and full of life. <laughs> Your voice is easy to remember. Hmm. What were we talking about? Oh, yes! Charms! I can see you've started your own collection. Very nice! I'll show you some of my own, and you can take one home with you if you like. <laughs> you sell char- Don't smack your lips at me, lady. You sell charms. Cool. Lifeblood heart. Have you ever drunk that bright blue liquid lifeblood? That's what it's called. It's a bit of it's a bit of a taboo, but it makes you feel much healthier, doesn't it? This charm seeps lifeblood and will certainly improve your constitution. Interesting. That gives me an extra heart then. It's a temporary heart. I'd presume that gives me a temporary heart that gets replenished when I head back and hit a bench. Helpful. Probably won't use it though. Long nail. That nail you weed wield is adorable. I'm, I'm aware that these descriptions are the storekeepers talking, but I'm just not gonna do the voice. But do you sometimes feel it could be a little longer? Ho 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 ho! <laughs> Go on, take this charm with you. Suddenly, your enemies will be within reach. That I might use. Steady body. I love the simple design on this little fellow. Very classy. It's made of a nice, solid, heavy material too. Wear it, and you'll be able to stay firmly in place when swinging your little nail around. Oh, so no more knockback when I, uh, when I smack stuff. Oh, three stars. Are you a spellcaster, you little scoundrel? Ho ho, I'm only teasing. If you ever learn any spells, you should, if you ever learn any spells, comma, you should buy this charm for yourself. I've heard it will make a spell much stronger. Okay. This, uh, the crystal set in the center is lovely, isn't it? Exquisite, even. Uh, fo it helps you focus. So that's, uh, I heal faster. That's really helpful. Charm notches. There we go. Okay, gotcha. So once I have 10 charms, I can unlock this one, but I can get this extra one here for 120. Gotcha. Noted. You have fun, Salubra. I will be back in just a little bit. Bitch. When I have the money with which to do uh, transactions with you. But before I actually go back to the bank to get uh, charm money, I am gonna head back up to that other place because I have uh, hence, henceforth come into the possession of uh, at least 50 tokens. Geo, why did I call them tokens? Uh, so that means I can open up that toll booth, not toll booth, the, just the toll station thing, and I can open that gate that leads to this mysterious bug crystal creature that I would love to see. Uh, nope, a little bit higher up. So we're gonna do that first. If I feel it is a bit out of my wheelhouse or a bit sketchy, I will just turn around and come back later. But for now, I really want to see what this what this whole business is. Smack, smack. Toll business, please. Open it. Too clunky. All right. Oh, there's two crystal bug boys. Oh, they're delightful. They're great. I love them. Uh, they're probably gonna be really annoying, though. Hi. Just like these pokeballs. There's a shiny something in here. Crystal Peak! A new area to explore! Wow. Crazy to think that this was here the whole time. Alright, so I guess we found the area that we will be exploring in the next episode. Oh, I can damage them. I can only damage them from the front. Okay. Alright. 
Where? Where? Pew. There we go. Ah! They were guarding a little bit of hidden geo. Very helpful. And now that just leads back to the uh, Crystal Peak. So I guess next episode we'll be exploring Crystal Peak. Can't wait for the next episode to be uh, me stepping in there, immediately realizing I don't have the thing I have to progress there yet, and then turning around and finding something else to do. That's gonna be cool. But for the time being, we have a direct objective that we need to do. And that thing is not here. Hold on. God, you have a long swing -us. The thing we need to do is go down, y'all, to the stagways. So I can head back to the bankage, get some money, and uh, buy some, uh, at least an extra notch from Salubra. I would really like that uh, that long nail charm though, because I could use the added uh, the added range. Well, we'll see what happens for the time being. For the time being, we will just we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if I have enough to do so. I might. I don't know. I think I do. I think I do. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, cut to when I'm back at Salubra. All right, we're back. Hello! I just realized something, actually. Are you a big ol' swirmy wormy? I think you might be. Anyway. Um. First and foremost, give me that charm notch, baby! Yeah. Hot dog. And now I have 500 monies to spend on whatever I feel like. Give me a long nail. Hell yeah. I'll worry about uh, notch management when I actually have the stuff that I want. Sturdy body? I'm not really interested in, because I've been using the, the knockback to my advantage. So I'll hold off on that for now. Thanks, Salubra. <laughs> Bye. All right. So let's see. We have three. Let's take off the things. All right. So gathering is one. Fury of the... F so RTSR is two. And long nails, too. Mm. I So, if I wanted to use long nail and RTSR, I would have to give up Soul Catcher. No. Gathering Swarm. Let's see. I have... Three, two... Five, seven. I have seven charms. So, if I just get three more, I'll be able to buy the next charm notch. And then I can use both. So I think for the time being, I will deal with uh, just having to pick up Geo manually. It's not all that hard, but it is kind of helpful to have. Though, you know what I just remembered? Before I end off this video, that might give me a little bit of extra help when it comes to getting those three more charms. I have paid a visit to the swarmiest wormies you'll ever see in a little bit. So I think Grandpa Grub might have some money for me. I would hope he has money for me because if he just gives me another mass fragment, I'm gonna be uh, moderately annoyed because I don't really need that right now. But I suppose in the long run, mass fragment's not the worst thing he could possibly give me. I would really prefer to just get money though. It's like when, uh, it's like when, it's like Christmas or your birthday or something and you don't really know what you want so you pr you would prefer to just get like money so you could just have money to buy something that you want in the future and your grandpa like your grandparents end up getting you like uh, just something that you do like but you don't really need so you appreciate that you got it and it is something that you wouldn't necessarily want but you were kind of hoping to just get money so you could have that disposable income to use on whatever you want you know it's that, it's that same situation anyway i'm running my mouth uh we gotta <laughs> we gotta actually do that thing i was talking about <laughs> Oh! Hello! Tiso. Pale thing. You wear that deal with ease. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no great warriors in this decaying burrow. I've heard an arena exists somewhere below. One built for art like. Meet me there and we'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon. Come and find me if you dare. Ah, I see. Uh, anything else to say, dickwad? Hello, Nest. What challengers await in its ruin? You're boring. Bye, I gotta talk to Squirmy Wormy. Alright, so uh, apparently Tiso is, uh, is a little bit of an angry boy and wants to prove his worth and will very likely get his ass kicked. I would hope he gets his ass kicked, because uh, 
that kind of bravado we don't fuck with. Grandpa Grub! Hello! Money, please. I need that. Yeah! I can always count on you, Grandpa. Yeah. Got two grubs. Ah, uh, it's always good to come back here. Bye, guys. See you later. All right, so now we have a uh, three uh, three hundred geo to spend on charms, which might get me one more. Did I buy? I think I held off on buying the the cheapest one there, so I might grab that now. Wait, no, I want to go back to Dirtmouth. I was holding off because I didn't need it and I wasn't intending on using it, but purely just because I need the extra notch slot for the magnet badge or the gathering swarm. I keep calling it magnet badge. I think I am gonna at least pick that up. Oh. Hey, Tiso. What's poppin'? Yeah, yeah. Pale thing. You use these old lights? Pathetic. A real warrior carries himself to combat. He has no need for such convenience. And why are you here? Hmm? Leave me be. It's the arena I seek. I've already wasted far too long with these cursed roads. Alright, good for you, dude. Couldn't care less. I'm actually not sure what arena he's talking about, though. There's the boss arenas of, like, the false knight that I fought in, but I'm pretty sure that shit collapsed, so I'm not sure if that's what he's talking about. Hey there, me again. <laughs> Alright. So, yes. There are three badges here I could buy. Good. Uh, I would need a total of 470... Yeah, because I'm buying this one, I would need a total of 470. Which... Huh. Hi, so uh, th this is the next day. If I sound weird, that's why. Uh, my power went out, so that was cool. Luckily, I was able to recover the footage, so ideally you're still seeing this. Um, anyway, the, the joke was supposed to be I uh, hesitate for a while because I'm thinking about going and grinding more Geo, and then I put together a real quick edit of me doing that. Then my power went out, so that's what happened. Anyway, uh, I did the I did the grinding. I have the money now. Hi, Salubra. I remember your name. Okay, so now we want to get the lifeblood heart. We want to get the shaman stone, and now we have ten, so we can buy this extra charm notch. There we go. Thank you, big. <laughs> just just big. Okay, so now we have this extra slot so we can put on Gathering Swarm on top of Long Nail and Fury of the Fallen. All right, cool. So I'm just gonna go walk over here so I can hear myself think. And before you uh, ask, uh, no, I'm not going to continue recording for another half hour. I literally just opened the game for 10 minutes before I go edit the video so I can actually record the ending. <laughs> just so I have like a definitive, hello. I have a definitive ending here. Okay, yeah, I, I, I got confused. This looks like an uppy that... Wait a minute. This was an uppy. Where is this? Oh, this... The, the, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess while I'm here, I might as well just go see if I can do anything with this. Hi, right, can I slot a thing yet? Door with an open slot. Cool. Uh, do, do, this guy. Nope. Uh, 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 Alright, cool. Alright, I guess we'll hang out in here because it's nice and quiet. Um, anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to be able to record an ending so this has a definitive ending and doesn't just suddenly stop on you. So, with that being said, I'm going to end this video here the next day. If you genuinely enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a pup if you haven't already. And hit the bell so it actually does something. If you want to support me in the channel, you can do so on Patreon for just $5 a month and you'll, be, you'll get a bunch of cool perks. Almost had it in one go. My name is Vixie, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, the big thank you to my patrons. The thing already popped up, but I forgot to say that.